All right, so in this chapter, we are going to add fog. So over in the place actors panel, I'm just going to type in fog and we've got atmospheric fog and exponential height fog. So we want to use the exponential height fog. So I'm going to just drag this in and I'll drag this up to here. Uh, the fog heights location uh, does matter, um, but it shouldn't really matter too much for our uh, kind of low room. If this was, you know, an exterior and we had mountains and hills and everything, uh, we, we would probably need to pull this up quite substantially, but we're just worried uh, about this room. So the first thing that we notice is that with the fog uh, activated, uh, we can kind of see out here. Okay, and this is a bit of an issue. Okay, so uh, let's go back. And what we're going to do is uh, to get rid of that, we are just going to take the fog cutoff distance. And I'm going to middle mouse click in here. We can drag right. And then I'm going to drag left to bring the cutoff distance uh, down to this value. It'll stop here at this value. Uh, and now, you know, we're not seeing out there. We've got another problem where we can see uh, every part of our scene that kind of just goes off into nothing. All right, and that's an issue, but that's going to be fixed uh, with a setting. So we are going to use the volumetric fog. Okay, so I'm going to check on this volumetric fog. And really, for the most part, I'm just going to kind of be worried about these settings. So I'm going to check on volumetric fog. Okay, and it kind of seems like it went off, but if we hit Alt and F, we can toggle the fog's visibility. We can also go to show and check it on and off. And there you'll see the Alt F. So we can see that there is a difference. Um, so the next thing we want to do is maybe we want to adjust the fog density. If we want it more foggy, we can bring this up to 0 0.05. Now the slider stops at 0 0.05, but you can type in values here. So I could set this to two if I wanted to like really over crank it and we can see some pretty cool stuff happening here with these like light shafts um, but uh, yeah this is just much much too much okay so I think a value of maybe 0. 0.5 let's try this let's let's leave it at 0. 0.5 and then down in the volumetric fog uh, we can adjust the scattering distribution and this will kind of focus it. Um, it'll it'll like it like kind of raises it up to where it's kind of closer to the light source. Uh, but if I lower it, it kind of brings the fog down uh, to where the light is kind of pointing, right? So again, as I bring it up, it brings it up closer to the fixture. As I bring that value down, it kind of points it down more. Uh, where the actual like cones of lights are. So hit G, select the fog again. And I mean, I think, uh, I think I like this lower value. Extinction scale, we can kind of uh, tune this a little bit more with extinction scale. If we bring this down, uh, view distance, it just kind of deals with the, I believe it's the far off uh, fog. So we'll just uh, reset that to, to default. And then we have this static lighting scattering intensity. So since all of our lights are set to static, uh, this is really how we can interface with the fog uh, kind of the most because all of our lighting information, again, is static. It is baked into light maps and um, this static lighting scattering intensity uh, deals with the the lighting contribution of our uh, of our baked lighting. Okay, so our static lighting, um, and this is used uh, again. We can just use this to to kind of fine tune this. So, you know, if we raise this up, let's bring it up to like two. It's kind of a lot. We can like 
expand on that, kind of multiply that, or we can really kind of dial it back uh, with that value as well. Uh, I think something like here looks pretty good, but I don't think a fog density of two and then this, this static scattering intensity is good. So I'm gonna do like point two, let me reset that. Let me reset the extinction scale maybe. And I don't know, this is a little, a little much. Let me dial it back. Oh, I meant to grab extinction scale. And I really just want kind of a, a little light haze. I don't want too much. I'm gonna hit Alt F so we can toggle the difference. And there is definitely a difference. And I think this is about the result that I want. Okay, so that is going to do it for the adding uh, uh, the exponential height fog to our scene.